Okay, in this video, we're actually going to download and install Windows 8 Consumer Preview. Now, Windows 8 Consumer Preview was released on Leap Day this year, and initially I downloaded it and put the ISO on a DVD disc. But for whatever reason, it wouldn't install from the DVD. So I'm going to try the alternate method, which is actually downloading it and installing it from Windows. Now the PC I'm using right now is running Windows Vista Home Premium 32-bit. So I'm on the official Microsoft website to download Windows 8, and I'll put the link to this page in the description down below. So I have an option here where it says Download Windows 8 Consumer Preview, and I'm going to click on that. And it says File Download, and it wants to run a program. So I'm going to actually run this program and it's downloading it. Now it's giving me the option to run it, so I'm going to click on that. And here we go. So I'm just going to go through these dialog boxes. And it says Windows 8 Consumer Preview. Now I have several videos on Windows 8 that I posted to my channel already, and that was in the fall of last year, the fall of 2011, when they released a developer preview but this is the consumer preview, so we're going to see the differences between the two versions. So it says, let's see what's compatible. So it's checking apps and devices. And I don't really have anything on this computer other than a fresh install of Windows Vista 32-bit Home Premium. So there shouldn't be much in terms of anything that has to be compatible. It says, here's what we found. You can get more about each app and device in the compatibility report. So really there's nothing on there, there's a compatibility report here, but I really don't care. I'm more interested in using Windows 8. If I want to use my programs, I can go to another computer that I do have. So I'm just going to hit Next here. And it's getting a few things ready. And it's getting a product key. So it gave me a product key, and that key should be good until Windows 8 actually launches. Now it's downloading Windows 8 Consumer Preview and it says feel free to keep using your PC and it says estimating time it hasn't given me an estimate yet and it's 0% complete so if I wanted to I can continue to use my PC as this was downloading but I don't really care to do that I'm just gonna let it do its thing and I'll join up with you when it's done downloading okay the download is complete and now it's checking the download okay check the download and now it's getting the files ready Okay, now that's done, and it says ready to install Windows 8 Consumer Preview. And you have three options here. It says install now, install on another partition, or install later. Now, as I mentioned, I have Windows Vista running on this machine. If I wanted to, I could partition it and run Windows 8 on one partition and Windows Vista on the other. But I'm not really interested in doing that. I just want to get Windows 8 on this machine. So I'm going to use the first selection, which is Install Now, and that will wipe the drive clean and give me a fresh install of Windows 8 on this drive. So I'm going to hit Next down here. And it says, hang on while we get a few things ready. And it gives us our license terms here. So of course I'm going to accept this, because if I don't, I can't use it. And I'm going to hit Accept. And it says, what do you want to keep in Windows 8 Consumer Preview? You have two options, just personal files or nothing. I'm just going to hit nothing here and hit next. And it's ready to install. It says before you install Windows 8 Consumer Preview, make sure you save your files and close any apps. You won't be able to use your PC after you click install. To recap, here's what you've chosen to do. Install Windows 8 Consumer Preview and don't keep anything. That sounds good to me, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to exit out of Internet Explorer here and click on install down here. And here we go. Installing Windows 8 Consumer Preview. This might take a while. Your PC will restart several times before we're done. And right now it's already 10% complete. So the computer's restarting now. And I assume this will be the last time I see Windows Vista on this machine. When it pops up it should say Windows 8. So now we have a little fish, and in the background behind the fish is a little 8. And he's blowing some bubbles there. And it's preparing. We're at 10% right now. 
Okay, the machine rebooted. And it says setup is updating registry settings. And it's preparing and getting devices ready. And now it's getting system ready. And it looks like it changed the resolution on the screen here because the little fish is smaller and the circle, it's actually restarting the PC, but the status circle is now a circle instead of an oval. So it's getting closer. So the machine rebooted and we're back to the older resolution. I'm just hoping this works because I had trouble, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I had trouble installing Windows off of the DVD. So let's hope this goes without a hitch. Now it's preparing and the resolution is back to the small fish and the circle instead of the oval and it's applying user settings. Alright, looks like a success to me. It says pick a color you like and give your PC a name. Any name you want. You'll be able to personalize more later. Well, let's see. Let's go with uh, a red background. And let's give this thing a name. Might as well call it Attic since this PC is in my attic. Then I'm going to hit Next down here. And it says Settings. You can get through some basics quickly. By choosing these express settings, this PC will occasionally send info to Microsoft to help make things run more smoothly in Windows. Windows 8 Consumer Preview will send some info to help make Microsoft software services and error reporting better. The express settings include automatically installing important and recommended updates to help protect your PC, help protect your PC from unsafe content, files, and websites, send Microsoft info to help make Windows and location services better, check online for solutions to problems, let apps give you personalized content based on your PC's location, name, and account picture, which sounds interesting to me, um, enable sharing and connect to devices on this network, and country or region, United States Keyboard Layout US. That sounds accurate. Might as well use the Express settings. Nothing sounds too alarming or egregious on that list. So I'm going to hit Use Express Settings. Okay, it says sign into your PC. Use your email address as a Microsoft account to sign into Windows 8 Consumer Preview. We won't send you spam. Well, that's good to know. I guess this is a good idea because if you're at all familiar with Windows 8, you know the live tiles involved on your home screen and that includes your mail. So that'd be cool to have that integrated. So I will put my email address in here and uh, see how that works out. Uh, just below that it says, when you sign into your PC with your Microsoft account, you can download apps from Windows Store, access your files and photos anywhere, and sync settings online to make your PCs look and feel the same. This includes settings like your browser's favorites and history. Well, the email address I'm going to put in here is not a Hotmail account, so I hope that's not a problem. So let me enter that in, and I'll see you on the other side of that. Okay, so it says Windows is having trouble connecting to the Internet. Create a local account now, and you can switch to a Microsoft account later. It's a little disappointing because right now I'm using a wireless dongle on this desktop PC here, and hopefully it's going to work with Windows 8. If not, I'm going to have to use a wireless bridge, which shouldn't be a problem, but it's just going to involve a little more work for me. So let me create a sign-in, and I'll see you on the other side of that. So right now it's finalizing my settings. Okay, so now I have my sign-in screen here, Tech Harvest, and it's preparing Windows for the first time. I'll have to put a little profile pic up there. All right, there we go. This is my start menu, and I really like the feel of this. A lot of people don't like it. It's very polarizing. Either you like it or you don't like it. A lot of strong feelings on both sides. I actually find that it's probably going to be very useful. I really like these tiles when you actually first turn on your computer because a lot of your information is right in front of you. And then if you want to dive deeper and get a lot of work done, you can go straight to your desktop. But this allows you to just do the things that you might want to jump on and off for, such as your email, or if you want to get involved with Facebook, or if you're into Xbox Live, you can go to that. Your messaging, your RSS feeds, 
I really like the direction of this and I really think that this will come in handy in a laptop. Now later on this year, Lenovo is going to be coming out with a laptop convertible tablet called the Yoga and it's a touchscreen device that's a laptop, a full powered laptop that you can also use as a tablet. And I'm very interested in that possibly as my next laptop. And I could really see it being useful because you can use the tablet functionality of the start menu but also have a full-fledged, full-powered computer. So that pretty much does it for this video. I just pretty much wanted to show you the installation of Windows 8. As I explained earlier, I had some issues installing it, so I found that this was the best way to do it with my setup. In a future video, I'm going to go and dive a little bit deeper into the operating system and report back to you on anything interesting I find. So that's it for now. If you have any questions or comments, as always, please list them down below. If you like what you see, please subscribe, like this video, or favorite it. It helps out my channel. And I'll see you guys next time.